Hello everyone, I'm Chen Wei from Liaocheng People's Hospital. I'm going to discuss the acute heart rate changes and the effects of vigorous nerve stimulation for patients with refractory epilepsy. The purpose of this research was to explain the mechanism of action of vigorous nerve stimulation application in patients with different heart rate during seizures as follows. As shown in Fig. 1, we speculated that the sensory threshold for arterial pressure is higher than that of the baroreceptor in patients with normal heart rate during seizures. Changing in blood pressure are sensed by the normal arterial baroreflex. These mechanical signals are then counted into an action potential frequency, which propagates along vigor and glossal for regional nodes to the nucleus of the tractor solitaries in brainstem, causing an increased parasympathetic and decreased sympathetic drive, which would be manifested as a reflex response to the rise in arterial pressure through a normal arterial barrier reflex and possibly sufficient to produce vigorous nerve stimulation efficacy. In addition, activation of vigor average through vigorous nerve stimulation and mechanical signals coming from electrical stimulation propagates to the nucleus of the tractor solitaries in brainstem, causing an increased parasympathetic and decreased sympathetic drive, which is possibly sufficient to ensure vigorous nerve stimulation efficacy. In a similar way, we speculated that the sensory threshold is higher in arterial pressure than that of the baroreceptor in patients with acute tachycardia, and its sensitivity to the arterial baroreflex is higher than that of patients with normal heart rate. These mechanical signals propagate through similar way to normal heart rate, resulting in increased parasympathetic and decreased sympathetic drive which would be expected as a reflex response to the rise in arterial pressure through a hypersensitivity arterial barrier reflex, together with the positive effect of the mechanical signals coming the activation of vigor efferents through vigorous nerve stimulation and further improving the effects of vigorous nerve stimulation. Conversely, we speculated that the sensory threshold is lower in arterial pressure than that of the baroreceptor in patients with acute bradycardia during seizures, and the sensitivity of the arterial baroreflex is lower than in patients with normal heart rate. These mechanical signals propagate through similar way to normal heart rate, and result in an increased sympathetic and decreased parasympathetic drive, which would be expected at a reflex point to drop in arterial pressure through a hypersensitive arterial battery reflex together with the positive effect of the mechanical signals coming from the activation of vigor efferents through vigorous nerve stimulation and possibly insufficient to produce vigorous nerve stimulation efficacy. Vigorous nerve stimulation involves the implantation of costly stimulation devices where an invasive neurosurgical procedure which may result in common and more serious side effects. Therefore, screening candidates who may potentially not benefit from vigorous nerve stimulation therapy remains important to avoid unnecessary invasive procedures and post-operative side effects.